floating through the Danube Delta on a cruise boat with amazing people from all over the world making new memories and witnessing all the beauty of Danube Delta's flora and fauna got us thinking that rivers are the most important thing to keep all the species alive and that they are key of life. So let's look at the Europe's second biggest river, Danube. It flows for 2,872 kilometers from the Black Forest in Germany to the Black Sea. The Danube flows throughout or flows along the borders of 10 countries Germany, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Serbia, Croatia, Bulgaria, Moldova, Ukraine and Romania. It also flows through the four capital cities Belgrade, Budapest, Bratislava and Vienna. The Danube's delta is the second largest in the world and it's still growing. It is also Europe's largest wetlands reserve and is home to about 5,000 species of plants, birds and animals. Nobody quite sure where the river starts. Somebody suggests that this spring in Black Forest could be the source. At least that what the plaque says. But Danube seems to spring from several sources. As the river reaches its full potential, cutting through the stone for thousands of years, it reaches another milestone. The Austria's primary city, Vienna. The city of almost 2 million inhabitants is right in the middle of the Danube's way. If not for the strict rules of wastewater management, Danube, furthermore, would lose all the diversity. There's a magnificent sewer system created to treat city's wastewater. In 1998, the Yen Canal developed a plan for ecological and economical optimization of wastewater disposal and water protection in Vienna. This principle of this approach was to consider all elements of Vienna's wastewater treatment and water protection as a holistic project that can be optimized ecologically and economically, starting not at the drain but source. But few kilometers out, further from the city, river changes its site completely and returns to natural state. Danube flows through several countries, evolving and slowing down. At the end, spreading as enormous Danube Delta. However, just a little bit into the land, trees are blooming and flourishing. The firm land of the delta used to be covered with large groves of willow trees, which have been cut down almost entirely and replaced with Canadian poplars. On the river banks kept in their natural state, small groves of willow trees can still be found mixed with the white poplars. Occasionally, the willow trees form corridors along the arms and bigger channels of Danube. On the Latia Levi, these exotic-looking forests grew especially in depressions between the sand dunes in small groves called Hasmat. Where are the trees? There is a bird paradise. Thousands of birds are getting into colonies and share the small islands.
The boundaries between land and sea are unclear, and coast blends into the waters of Black Sea, where the river cycle doesn't end but only pauses, and starts the new one, more complicated and global. largest river in Europe after the Volga which is better known to be located in uh, Russia. So the Danube River is starts in Germany. The total length of it is 2860 kilometers and uh, this river flows through several European countries so it's Germany, Austria, Hungary, Romania and it flows into the Black Sea. The Danube Delta is famous for being the, one of the richest wildlife places not only in Europe but also in the whole world. This delta is uh, very specifically formed over the hundreds of years and it forms many many channels, uh, lakes, uh, different uh, shores and it uh, from above I believe it looks like a labyrinth which you can uh, like a maze which you can explore in any map from uh, the space. This place is very unique because it has a diversity of uh, wild species. Uh, we have observed here uh, birds, many water birds uh, but due to the noise and our ship of course we didn't see the majority of them and uh, also this place is uh, rich in uh, different uh, kinds of uh, trees and bushes. Danube River is very important for the economics of Romania. This huge uh, river serves as a great way of uh, transporting goods and uh, different means of logistics. There are different sizes of ships cruising down the river and uh, transporting many, uh, I mean many forms of uh, goods produced in uh, Romania and uh, neighboring countries. So the day spent on Danube Delta is very, very educational and also entertaining for all age students. It is a great lesson outdoors in geography and biology because Danube Delta is one of the biggest wetlands not only in Europe but the whole world. As, a, and a, as I said before, you can enjoy and observe a diversity of wild species here, both birds and plants. And there are definitely things that you will learn better here, not sitting in the classroom. So take part in different projects and activities that involve learning not only indoors but outdoors. Learn more about the cultures, geography of other countries.